with chicken. Oh my goodness, but no eggs because she's allergic to eggs. Okay, friends, so this is my pork belly crispy, what was it again? Crispy pork belly. Crispy pork belly. Okay, serve over jasmine rice and top with fried eggs. Oh, look how cute they serve it. Hey, okay, friends, just getting out of that Costco parking lot was just a nightmare. People are just walking without even looking at cars. And cars are driving not even on their lane, like wherever, because they think that the person walking close to them is gonna go to the car and they're trying to get the parking space. I had to get out of there. But I'm waiting for Miss Mary. We're gonna try this place right here. It says TK Noodles. I don't know if you guys can see that. TK Noodles. Cause um, last night when we went to Ikea, uh, Noreen, uh, she's a Thai and her dad is a, is a chef at a restaurant and a bartender or something like that. and this is where their family goes this one and then another place so we want to go because if a chef if a thai i think it's thai noodles i think it's thai um and if that's where he takes his family then it must be good okay so i'm gonna show you guys how i feed my family of uh five so there's five of us now danielle is uh in college and so I bought two of these over at Costco when I went and showed you guys because it was on sale. I think it's $11 for this big size. This is the size. And then I just removed like the film a little bit, get some uh, air circulation in there. Then it says to put it in and then take the film out and then I'll cover it with foil. This one I had bought over at Trader Joe's. The, the avocado ranch salad kit so i'll add this to the meal so mac and cheese salad and then i usually cook up half of the salmon so half uh, i think this is less than half i had fresh dill so i want to use a little bit of that i put garlic spread into the bowl microwaved it salt and pepper and then also garlic powder and then i'm going to go ahead and spread that after i spread lemon let me go get lemon. and i also when i went to go get the lemon i saw that i still had this so i i pre-washed this when i bought these over at trader joe's i took the stem out i kind of cut it and then i wrapped it in like um like a wet paper towel and then put it into another bag so i'll go ahead and do another wash but then it keeps the it keeps it longer so it's actually been here for over a week i think two weeks and I'm gonna still pre-wash it. It's still nice and firm, so it's not you know, soft at all. Still crunchy when you press on it. So I'm gonna go and do like a like a fried um, fried pepper. Okay, um, I'll do that. And then for this one, I'll just sprinkle the lemon. In. And then I'm also washing dishes. So I'm just kind of sorry that and then I'm gonna wrap that I'm gonna do it with one hand because I'm filming because that's how you guys you guys know that's how I do it put a little bit there hands are clean okay. Okay. sorry it's just for the family and plus my hands are clean and then I'm filming for you guys and let that kind of soak in into the fish. So while the pan is heating up, that's going to soak into the fish. these corn chips I'm also putting in this a latte corn chip dippers and then I'm just gonna kind of again wash hands because they have it you know add more more flavoring to it because sometimes like the pre package doesn't come with enough enough so and then it had uh, Parmesan cheese, and then it's going to have the salad. I'm going to put the salad to the side and then kind of mix it in. This one, I dried the shishito peppers. I, well, I rinsed it and then dried it with a towel. And then I put salt in here, sea salt, 
and then pepper flakes and then just a little bit of pepper olive oil so that everything can stick to the peppers and then i'm going to use the same pan that has this the fish um fish oil and then i kind of drained out like the like the burnt pieces of it and then that's it friends it's all okay you are gonna want your pan very hot again this is the same pan as the cooking of the um the fish so it's gonna flavor it i'm gonna turn it down to medium now see how it's smoking and then it's going to go in okay. two minutes on each side that's it two minutes on each side i'm gonna make like a garlic aioli sauce um i'm you can use just garlic and then sriracha and then that's it or gar um i'm sorry you can use sriracha and mayonnaise and that's it or mayonnaise and like um cymbal and that's it so that's the aioli sauce that sometimes we use but today we use garlic i'll get a fresh garlic press it down into a presser uh, sea salt and then lemon that was about two minutes and then i just flipped it over and then now blistering because all you're doing is just blistering it and then it will um, automatically kind of soften okay so some of these are still like super crunchy and i just have a little bit of lemon and then i'm just gonna kind of just drizzle a little bit all right, there's the fish, there's the peppers. Here's the salad still. And then instead of tossing the salad here, I'm just gonna toss it in a big bowl. Somehow it just tastes better when you toss a salad into a big bowl. Okay, I was gonna make the garlic aioli, but I could not find fresh garlic. So again, easy peasy sriracha, okay, to the rescue. Let me go ahead and just taste, sorry, my hands. This is how we do, and we don't, we don't do traditional meals, so where we sit down on the table, it's kind of like a buffet style. Oh, super good. Mm-hmm. It's just us, so I'm going to double dip. A little bit crunchy still. I'm going to triple dip. Mm. Super this is good. also what I do. So the, <laughs> I do this not every, every time, but whenever I realize that it's, um, Dishwasher just got done cleaning, so. I'm getting a free facial. Yes, I do that. Avocado salad, I just transferred it into a big bowl and then I'm just gonna mix all together. I just took it out of the oven. I don't know. Mix it and then put it back in for just a bit. Ooh, like that steam, Danica? Ooh. What kind of mac and cheese is it? Beechers, everybody's favorite. Aloha, friends. Good morning. Um, took Danica to school, actually walked her to school. It was like, um, we had frost last night, so I double jacket her, but She's like, she's good, but uh, I need to stay home today because the guy that's supposed to do the vent for the roof, he needs to put two vents for our two bathrooms upstairs. Um, he was supposed to come yesterday, but he couldn't. I guess he had a job in Tacoma, which is South Seattle. So he's gonna, supposed to come today. Well, he was supposed to be have been here like 30 minutes ago. And then I'm gonna mop, but every time I put bears, this is bears and Java's toys. Every time I put it into the basket, she's um, taking it out because I need to mop. I need to vacuum. I need to run little brother. This is with little brother. And then I'm blocking it because I don't want her touching the plants. Did the dishes for, I work at night. And so this just uh, gets piled up when they don't do dishes, which is fine. I'm just, I just do it, friends, rather than saying anything. Um, and then whoever does the dishes, when it's wet, 
they dry it and then so i'm gonna put that away um calibrating my oven because i kind of want to make um i want to make macarons again and ever since i thought it was me that forgot to make forgot to i forgot how to make macarons but it's not me it was the oven so finally i bought a thermo an oven thermometer in there so i'm calibrating it because inside it says 300 i don't know if you guys can see that see 300 but preheat is only at 290 so it's still 10 degrees off and when you're making macarons very finicky this little brother little brother is gonna mop while i'm doing other stuff i mean <laughs> sweep and then i'm gonna go around and vacuum after little brother but there's only one thing left of um what do you call this? Miss Mary cinnamon rolls. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in the fridge. Transferred it. I wash, I wash um, strawberries because if I don't, if I don't prep up the, fru the fruits, no one will eat it at the house. Like they're not, they won't wash it and kind of prep up to eat it. It has to be like ready for them to grab kind of thing. That's how this family dynamic works okay my breakfast i made uh tocino yesterday and so i'm making fresh rice and then i'm gonna have tocino that's a filipino uh, breakfast and then i'll do like a fried egg with it um mopping i mean mopping sweeping uh this one friends i love okay i wanted to show you guys this so i've had this for i know i guys when you I've never, when I film, it's just based on what I have. I don't do all those other YouTubes that, YouTubers that, you know, kind of professional. I don't do professional friends. I, I share what I, I can share, okay? This one is not from a bottom of a booty. It used to be where I put the plants. <laughs> it was up against the, the window right there. But then because of the party, the kids kind of want to have the bar stool for now. But this one was just a cutting. I had bought one of these. The, this is from Trader Joe's. Because I did not divide it, it's just kind of wilted. It, it's, it needs to be divided. This can turn into like probably six plants, okay? Which is what I did with this one because I had bought two of them from Trader Joe's maybe three years ago. Like they were, I don't know, $19.99, $12.99. And so... There's one there, there's one there, and then there's another one behind. I gave uh, two, I think, to Miss Mary. Uh, I'm liking the version of where, because Monsteras can grow either straight water or soil. Uh, it's been like this for six months. That's my oven. Uh, six months, and I prefer the water. You do have to change the water, like, weekly. So I'm going to change it today, and then... But it's more, it's more vibrant. Look at this, this brand new leaf. The older the plant is, the bigger the leaves, right? So that's, that's a new baby leaf that just sprouted maybe a week ago. But look how big it is and look how it has the, the, like the holes. Because sometimes baby leaf comes like this and then eventually it has holes. But this one looks so unhealthy. And it's only because I need to repot it, okay? I think I'm going to divide it and put it in water. I do like the water version better. Plus, I don't have to worry about the soil. I don't get gnats anymore. I used to. Uh, there's my little... Th those are plants that I took out from outside and brought it in for the winter. If you guys can see over there. But the soil, I microwaved it. So... So that whatever bacteria or gnats or whatever animals, baby animals growing from the soil or in the soil, I nuked it. <laughs> and then also I spray with the hydrogen water peroxide. Bear. And then when I, sometimes when I water, I water hot, wa boiling hot water because gnats only live on the very top of the soil. Uh, I think the guy's here. But yeah, I like this water. Look how beautiful it is. Bear. 
Stop it. Oh, Bear doesn't like little brother. <laughs> Bear does not like little brother. Java is always with hubby because Java is calm. I always have a bucket of water here. If you guys can see my vlog, there's always a bucket. I Every day I change it because when she has a little accident, then I, it's easy for me to mop. Hey, no more. My brunch, because I don't really eat breakfast, so my lunch and breakfast together. One egg and then a little bit of that tocino in there. And then the peppers from last night's dinner. Um, and then I'm gonna watch my show, which is, I think it's on Netflix. I think it's called Making Partner or Partner Plan, but she's supposed to be like the first Asian female lawyer that's about to get partner. I forgot what it's called, but that's what I'm watching uh, nowadays. So I'm on like episode two, I think, but I really like it. So I'll have that relax for a little bit and then finish working on my stuff here. And then this is where I put my Monstera. I rinsed her off a little bit, I changed the water, and then the babies are playing.